Hello, my name is Martin Meislick, and this is Natalie Jeffers, and we are the writers and directors of The Songwriter Search. In this documentary, we will be taking you on our process of artistic creation. We're excited to bring you along for our process. Thank you for watching. And thank you to Ross, Natalie's younger brother, for filming. Not a dressing camera director. Right. Thank you, audience. Fly on the wall. Yep. There's a lot to do when making a show. The first thing, of course, was writing the piece. We came up with the story together, and Natalie wrote the scenes, and she's the director, and I wrote the music, and I'm the music director. And Mr. Daniels is our producer. I hope this documentary will help to bring you along our process and also maybe inspire people in the future if they want to write their own show. My main goal is to have an arc. That doesn't make any sense. But like a cool character arc. This isn't a movie. Not yet it isn't. Hello, well, my name is Mr. Daniels. I am the theater and gym teacher here at Play Mount High and this is my first year as theater teacher. <laughs> When the students told me about their idea for a musical, I was so stoked. I mean, this is gonna be a blast. When I was hired last year, uh, Mr. Capriccio was a theater teacher then, and he didn't like musicals, but then he left. And I wanted to do a musical. Then the school didn't want to pay for the rights, but then Martin came and asked me if they could do this musical they had written with Natalie, and I was stoked. We were unanimous in our choice to cast Claire as Eleanor, the show's lead. I'm so excited to be here. This is the biggest role I've ever gotten in a show, and I'm just so pumped about it. Hey, um, are you sure about scene seven? I was thinking that we could- Scene seven is awesome. Yeah, no, I like scene seven. Are you sure? It's cool. No, it's, it's not, no, it's nice, it's nice. I, it's okay, great, you're great, we're doing- no, I, I think it's awesome. All right, party people! Let's rock! Hey, just hello, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. Hi. Nat attack, hey. Yeah. You can put yourself hey. 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 How are you guys? Good. Uh, Carter and Hannah are parking, so they should be over here soon. Cool, cool. Yeah, sounds good. Hey. Hello. Hey. You guys can put yourself over here. What's up? What's up? Yo. Hey. 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 How's it going, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi! Hi. Oh, Hi. Oh, Hi. Order with the cake! So nice oh. to see you Hello! Oh, oh, <laughs> Alright, um, it looks like everyone is pretty much here. We're just waiting for our stage manager. So the kids are super cool and honestly have done most of the work on their own. But as actors, they tend to forget that you need to get a good stage manager. So he asked Mr. Capricci who he recommended and he said you gotta go with the best of the best, Valerie. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I stage handed a show in eighth grade. I think they think I'm Victoria. She's a senior who does a lot of theater stuff. They just like asked me to be the stage manager for the show. And I was like, yeah, okay, sure, seems fun. Um, without realizing that they didn't know that I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so I'm kind of just stuck in this rabbit hole now and I'm just kind of going with it. And it's kind of funny. It's not, it's, it's not like, it's not that funny. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm just kind of gonna fake it till I make it, you know? You guys are gonna like show them this, are you? The documentary will be complete when the show is finished. Cool. Hi, are, are you Valerie? Yeah. yeah. You, you must be nice. Yes, it's so nice to finally meet you. <laughs> I'm really excited to be working with you. Um, squeezing with some of my stage is a tough one. Uh, but I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> Yay, theater! Yeah. Yay! Uh, go ahead and sit down there. Thanks for having Do you need any water? I don't know why I do these things to myself. And I'm not being rhetorical, I really don't know. I, is it funny? Yes. Was I bored? Yes. Am I stressed now? A little bit. And 
you know, I just hope that the stage manager doesn't have to do a whole lot. Um, I already missed the daily call, but thankfully I don't have to worry about that again. So, yeah. Oh, wait, I'm a genius. I can Google this. Oh, oh, oh this stage is going to get so freaking managed. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. We're so excited. So we're gonna start today off with a table read and then Martin will take it away with a vocal rehearsal. Uh, but before we start, any questions? Yeah, uh, what's the deal with the cameras? Are we making a movie of this? We're making a documentary of our process. Cool, cool. First impressions? Hmm. It was good. I'm trying to be more specific. Um, Oh, I like the idea of my character, like, trying to write a song for Claire's character. I can't think of anything else. Um, I can. I'm playing his mom, which is so funny. I can't get over it. Um, we're dating, by the way, so that's why it's funny. Um, but yeah, no, it was good. I'm really excited. Mommy. I will literally punch... too weird. What? No, 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 not at all. Okay. This show is weird. I love it though. I mean, you have them going to space and then that evil producer monster guy thing. I mean, it's great. I love it. It's kind of like chic and meta at the same time. It's like nice. I don't know. But I mean, I've known Mart since we were like little, little. His stories have always been weird. I'm just glad he has someone else to be weird with. It was good. I really liked when we went into space and the whole thing with like the songwriter and his love story, I really enjoyed that. Okay, so I'm on a little break now. Um, the table read went mostly really well. It's so weird to think about the fact that they just heard my words. I don't know, I just, I hope they liked it. I really care about everybody in that room and the idea of keeping them here for all of this little show stuff is just, it makes me feel really guilty. Anyway, um, Martin was really adamant about getting a jumpstart on the vocal rehearsal, so I hope that's going well. But overall, I, th I think it's going good. So, what I need you guys to do. This is kind of funny. Blend <laughs> your human voices. Although I think Alien someone should be in charge of time management. I may be thinking, Martin, Oh, shit, What's an alien job? voice? No. Also, could I say shit? Think about the fact. Sure, it's more authentic. Aliens, thousands How about of fuck? different years Once. of musical history than us. Now, what that looks like in the context oh, of musical theater is going to be um, an inversion of the like way we think of light motif. Fifteen minutes? Dark motif, if you will. Has he just been talking? No. Yeah. These dark motifs used throughout. Why didn't you stop the aliens or something? Was I supposed to? Our representative. I thought that was part You're of like the rehearsal. Um, Martin! Why don't we hear a song? Oh, right. So uh, let's do Polyphonic Pilot. Uh, that is the Act 1 finale. Um, I'll play through it once, and then we can start working on different parts. So. It's, it's really okay if you didn't like it. I'm, I'm not lying, I really like the show. I've been seen seven. Sorry, I I don't know, it's just, it, it's weird. I, I shouldn't be talking to someone in my show about this and we don't know each other all Thank you. No, thank you for casting me. And it's okay. It's important to talk about these things and um, we're working on this together. Thank you. You should probably get back in there. It sounds like Martin's actually teaching now. <laughs> You should come too. It'll be fun if all of us are in there together. Okay.
great songwriter, people say things to me like, Martin, play your song. And I do. And they listen, and it, it actually feels, um, it actually feels pretty nice. Such a brand new place, leaving in search of you. Going on a trip to outer space is what I'd expect you to do. My polyphonic pilot, you're the best one I've ever known. You make me question each breath, each rhythm, and each time.